Okay, in response to some of the questions we're getting about the HCC reimbursement model um, assignment, I'm going to do a quick video and show you how to find the HCC and the risk score. Okay, this is the example that I'm going to walk you through. And if you look down at the bottom of the Excel sheet, you'll see three tabs. You won't see the example one here, but you will see problems, CMS HCC, which I have a filter on it, which we'll talk about, and then the HCC titles and risk score. Remember how we talked about how the higher the risk score, the greater the reimbursement. If you look at the HCC risk score title, you'll see a figure of 0 0.312. That's for HCC1, which is dealing with HIV AIDS. How you would find that would be on the CMS HCC model codes. And again, in column A, you'll see all these ICD-10 codes. It'll look something like this. So you'll see all these codes. These are diagnosis codes without the point. So you'll see A021 for salmonella, sepsis, and so on. What you may want to consider doing is find the code by filtering it. You select the column, select filter, and you can only do A column. B select, and type in the code. Probably can't see that because of the way Zoom works, but it will give you something like this. Okay, so you can see the code, B20, the name of the HCC, HIV, disease. And then over here, you can see HCC1. And again, the first worksheet that you see over here see the HCC here, the HCC title, and the risk score. So again, in my hypothetical example here on this worksheet, we have a, somebody who's admitted with the principal diagnosis of B20, that's HCC1 as displayed in column D with a risk score of 0 0.32. So what you will need to do, there are over 70,000 ICD-10 CM codes. Not all of them will map to an HCC. So you will see here in this example here, inflammatory polyneuropathy is HCC 75. And it has a risk score of point. Four, five, seven, as you can see here. So what you're being asked to do is to go through and work your way through some of these. Right? What is the risk score on some of these? Right? So you'll go through, for instance, cellulitis of the left limb, Parkinson's, all these here, right? 
Some of them are given to you. You're asked to fill in the rest, right? Some of them will have risk scores since they're HCCs. Some will not. You will save this file with your last name and upload it. And then either on a separate worksheet, or if you can fit it in here, answer these questions. Which conditions surprised you that they were not included in the CMS HCC risk adjusted model. Remember from coding, we have a lot of ICD-10 CM codes that really are not what we would call chronic conditions that we want to necessarily reimburse somebody for, right? They're over 70,000, they're not that many HCCs. So as you go through this, you will be surprised. Please write which one surprised you that it was not included in the HCC reimbursement model. And then question B, which conditions surprised you that it was included? Some of these things you may find are reimbursable and you didn't think they would be. And then which conditions risk score was lower than you expected for question c which one was higher than expected so if you had to explain this risk adjusted model to a family member how would you do that is the last question when you include all those you will upload this file I hope you found that useful. Please email me with any questions. Thank you. We'll see you online.